Large cities flourished in the Amazon. Incredible cities, advanced arts and crafts, millions of people, a thriving culture. Smallpox devastated the local population. Deep within the heart of the notorious Devil's Bridge Valley in Germany lies a mystery covered in secrecy. A place where few dare to venture and even fewer return. Drones have long ceased to be just ordinary machines. They are our eyes in the sky, uncovering secrets hidden from human eyes. Who could have built the structure hidden within this valley, and what could their intentions have been? Join us as we delve into the unsettling revelation uncovered by drones in a secluded valley, a sight meant to remain unseen. Number 20. The Six Million Year Old Fossil a remarkable find has emerged deep beneath the rugged terrain of Sicily's Hlan Mountains, a treasure trove of water dating back a staggering six million years. This discovery, made by a diverse team of scientists, marks a significant breakthrough in our understanding of ancient sprints. During the troubled era known as the Mycenaean Salinity Crisis, the Mediterranean Sea underwent a dramatic transformation. Blocked at the Strait of Gibraltar, the sea began to evaporate, laying bare its ancient seabed. As the heavens wept, rainwater trickled down into the thirsty earth, seeping through layers of penetrable carbonate rock beneath the towering mountains. Here's where the magic begins. Over years, the earth's embrace slowly compressed and preserved this infiltrated rainwater, shielded by the weight of the encroaching sea above. And so, a relic of ancient times, a reservoir of pristine fresh water lay hidden beneath the Earth's crust, waiting to be discovered. But this isn't just a tale of geological wonder, it's a beacon of hope for parched lands. As Sicily grapples with water scarcity, scientists are exploring the tantalizing prospect of tapping into this ancient spring to quench the thirst of modern civilizations. And the implications stretch far beyond Sicily's shores. This discovery ignites a spark of curiosity, prompting researchers to ponder similar treasures lying dormant beneath the Earth's surface in other corners of the Mediterranean and beyond. Number 19. The 7,000-Year-Old Sculptures Nestled in the Maiji district of Tianshui City, Gansu Province, China, the Maiji Shan Grottoes are a spectacular blend of art and spirituality. Carved intricately into the cliff face of Maiji Mountain, these Buddhist caves hold a rich history dating back to around 384 to 417 AD during the later Qin Dynasty. Over centuries, the site expanded to include 221 caves adorned with over 10,632 clay sculptures and more than 1,300 square meters of murals. From grand sculptures to delicate miniatures, these artworks showcase the evolution of Chinese clay sculpture art over a millennium. Perhaps most striking is their location, resting about 70 meters above the ground on the steep cliff of Maiji Mountain. The largest cave, known as Cave 4 or the Seven Buddha Pavilion, houses a magnificent hall soaked in Buddhist legend, named the Sprinkling Flower Tower. According to a Buddhist tale, the Bodhisa tested his disciples by sprinkling flowers from this cave. The grottoes are divided into two main areas, the western and eastern cliffs, each boasting a mesmerizing array of Buddhist statues, murals, and architectural marvels. While the Mai Jishan grottoes are famous for their exquisite clay sculptures, they offer a contrast to the Moa grottoes, renowned for their paintings. For anyone eager to delve into China's rich history and artistic heritage, a visit to the Mai Jishan Grottoes is an absolute must. Number 18, the village of the cloud people. In the heart of the Amazonian Andes, nestled within the rich embrace of thick, hot forests, thrived an ancient civilization known as the Chacha Poaz, or the cloud people. These remarkable individuals, also dubbed as the Warriors of the Clouds, inhabited the elevated lands of present-day Peru, their existence hidden in an atmosphere of mystery and wonder. Living amidst towering peaks at altitudes ranging from 2,000 to 3,000 meters, the Chachapoas left an indelible mark on history through their extraordinary architectural feats. Among their most renowned creations stood the monumental fortress of Quelap, a marvel often likened to the famed Machu Picchu, with huge stone walls encircling over 400 intricately designed structures within. The origins and ultimate fate of the Chachapoas 
weave a fabric of intrigue. Archaeological evidence suggests their coexistence with the Inca Empire, hinting at a complex relationship marked by both acceptance and defiance. Despite their physical appearance noted by Spanish conquerors for their fair skin and the renowned beauty of their women, the Cloud People fiercely resisted the encroachment of foreign powers. Their alliance with neighboring tribes, such as the Chachapoyas, in a bid to reclaim their lands from Inca domination, bore proof of their resilience. However, the arrival of European diseases, such as smallpox, heralded the tragic decline of the Chachapoas, leaving behind only echoes of their once vibrant civilization. Number 17. The Myrtles Plantation. The Myrtles Plantation, nestled in St. Francisville, Louisiana, holds a history as fascinating as it is mystery. Built in 1796 by General David Bradford, this plantation was originally called Laurel Grove. Bradford sought refuge here after his involvement in the Whiskey Rebellion. Later, the property passed to his daughter and her husband, Clark Woodruff, marking the beginning of a series of tragic events and ghostly tales that would make the Myrtles infamous. One of the most enduring legends associated with the Myrtles is that of Chloe, a slave girl. As the story goes, Woodruff, described as a man with a penchant for pleasure, turned his attention to Chloe. Fearing retribution from Woodruff's wife, Chloe began listening in on family conversations. When caught, Woodruff punished her by ordering her ear to be cut off, making her wear a turban thereafter. In a supposed act of revenge, she allegedly poisoned the family's food, leading to the deaths of Woodruff's wife and two children. Fearing punishment, the other slaves hanged her and disposed of her body in a river. It is said that her spirit still haunts the plantation to this day. In 1834, the plantation changed hands to Rough and Gray Sterling, who extensively remodeled and enlarged it. The property was then renamed the Myrtles. Tragedy continued to strike, as many of Sterling's children died young. Number 16. The Lost Languages in the World Deep within the ancient walls of St. Catherine's Monastery, nestled in the mystical lands of Egypt's Sinai Peninsula, lies a sanctuary of knowledge, a watering hole of wisdom amid the shifting sands of time. This venerable institution boasts one of the oldest libraries on earth, a sacred warehouse that has endured through the ages, preserving the echoes of ancient times within its hallowed halls. Within this timeless sanctuary resides a trove of treasures, a genuine store of manuscripts and books, and each whispering tales of bygone eras. Among these ancient writings lie secrets long forgotten, hidden gems waiting to be unearthed by the curious and the fearless. Through the marvels of modern technology, diligent scholars have embarked on a journey of discovery, peeling back the layers of history to reveal texts once thought lost to the annals of time. These fearless explorers have delved deep into the heart of St. Catherine's Monastery, using advanced techniques to unveil writings that were once darkened by the passage of centuries, overwritten by the hands of monks in their sacred duty. Among the treasures unearthed are manuscripts written in long, silent tongues, languages consigned to the dusty corners of history. Here, within the crumbling pages of ancient parchment, lie the words of Caucasian Albanian and Christian Palestinian Aramaic, languages that once flourished but have since faded into darkness. Number 15. The Energy Pyramids of Bosnia In the enchanting countryside of Bosnia, nestled near the quaint town of Vovo, lies a collection of hills that have ignited a mix of intrigue, debate, and cultural pride. These hills, often dubbed the Bosnian Pyramids, were brought to public attention in 2005 by Samir Osmanagic, a Bosnian-American entrepreneur. Osmanagic put forward a captivating theory, suggesting that these hills, including the prominent Vacha Hill, are not just natural formations, but rather ancient pyramidal structures crafted by an advanced civilization. His hypothesis was built upon various observations, such as the hill's pyramid-like shapes, their alignment with the cardinal points, and the presence of underground passages known as the Ravan Tunnels. He proposed that these structures could date back over 30,000 years, originating from a civilization predating recorded history, potentially the ancient Yans. Osmanagic even made bold claims about detecting standing waves at the site, 
which he believed could enable communication across galaxies. The idea of Bosnian pyramids swiftly captured the imagination of the local Bosnia population, who saw them as a source of national pride and a link to a glorious ancient heritage. Soon, Bosnian pyramids became a magnet for tourists, with local authorities and educational institutions endorsing visits to the site. Despite the passion surrounding the Bosnian pyramids, the controversy persists, underscoring the delicate balance between exploration, preservation, and rigorous scientific inquiry in unraveling the mysteries of the past. Number 14. The spring stops every 15 minutes. At the base of a rugged mountain near Afton, Wyoming, lies a marvel of nature, the intermittent spring, also known as the spring that breathes. It's a spring that doesn't flow continuously, but instead stops and starts like clockwork every 15 minutes. It all boils down to something called the siphon effect, a concept that might sound complex but is actually quite simple to understand. Imagine yourself conducting a mini science experiment at home. Grab a small tube or a flexible straw, two containers, one taller than the other, and some water. Fill the taller container to the brim, cover one end of the tube with your finger, and dip the other end into the water-filled tall container. Now, point the covered end toward the shorter, empty container and release your finger. You'll witness water flowing up the tube and into the shorter container. This is the same principle at work in the intermittent spring. Here's how it works. Groundwater seeps into an underground cavern, filling up a narrow tube. When the water level in the tube reaches a certain point, the siphon effect kicks in, pulling water out of the chamber and causing the spring to flow. As the water level drops, air rushes into the tube, halting the flow until the water refills again. Number 13. 5,400-year-old Tom in the year 2012, historians exploring the lands of southern Spain uncovered a remarkable discovery, a tomb believed to be ancient beyond comprehension, estimated to have existed for over 5,000 years. This tomb, nestled near the majestic Lone Mountain, not only mesmerized with its age, but also captivated with its preservation. It earned the nickname Pedras Blas, or White Stones, a name that echoed through the annals of time. What renders this discovery truly fascinating is its celestial connection. Despite the millennia that have passed, the tomb's orientation aligns flawlessly with the sunrise of the summer sunshine. This celestial event, known formally as the domesticated sunlight, occurs annually on June 21st. As the first rays of the sun grace the horizon, they cast complicated shadows and play with the interplay of light upon the stone structures within the tomb. This natural phenomenon creates a spectacle relating to the enchanting displays observed at Newgrange in Ireland. The significance of this alignment extends far beyond mere coincidence. Their mastery of celestial movements and their ability to incorporate them into their architectural endeavors reveal a culture far beyond what was previously imagined. In unraveling the mysteries of Pedras Blas, we not only uncover a relic of the past, but also gain insight into the profound wisdom of ancient civilizations. Number 12. The Stone Sculpting Hermit In the quiet mountains of Nicaragua resides a remarkable individual known by many as the Stone Man or the Hermit of Nicaragua, Alberto Gutierrez. His life is a proof of thy extraordinary as he chose to live amidst the rugged beauty of nature, sculpting not just with stone, but the very mountains themselves. Born on October 17, 1944, near Esteli City, Alberto always felt an innate pull toward the lush forests surrounding his childhood home. However, it wasn't until the age of 33, amidst the chaos of war in Nicaragua, that he decided to pursue a childhood dream that had lingered vividly since the age of nine, the dream of sculpting a mountain. This vision led him to Halakat Mountain, overseeing the Tanzela Reserve where he identified the imposing rock from his dream. Leaving behind his former life, Alberto built a modest wooden hut in the rugged terrain, embracing a lifestyle devoid of modern comforts such as running water and electricity. With simple tools like pieces of rebar and a metal blade, he embarked on his sculpting journey, 
Over time, the mountain began to transform under his skilled hands, evolving into a diverse masterpiece featuring intricate carvings of elephants, cheetahs, and various other elements of nature. Despite his solitary existence, Alberto's reputation spread far and wide, making him a local legend and a magnet for tourists. Number 11. The Iron Age Scandal in the remote and wild mountains of Norway, a keen-eyed hiker stumbled upon a remarkable find, a sandal dating back 1,700 years to the Iron Age. This chance discovery made in 2019 unveiled a glimpse into the ancient past of this rugged terrain. The sandal, unearthed in a high-altitude mountain pass, hinted at the existence of a travel route from centuries ago. One might imagine a Roman traveler, equipped with footwear suited for the Nordic climate, but experts suggest that the original wearers of these sandals were skilled navigators of the harsh landscapes. They likely augmented their footwear with additional insulation, using bits of fabric or animal skin to brave the cold. This find is just one piece of a larger puzzle, unveiling a network of ancient mountain trails that linked inland Norway to the coast. These trails were traversed from around 200 CE until the late 900s, serving as vital arteries of travel and trade during that time. Further evidence of activity in the area during the Viking Age, including horse dung and various artifacts, underscores the significance of these mountain passes in Norway's ancient history. As climate change continues to melt the ice, archaeologists anticipate the emergence of more artifacts each holding secrets that promise to enrich our understanding of ancient Norway. Number 10. The Bronze Age Brain In the Bronze Age, a remarkable discovery emerged in 2017, revealing a fascinating tale of preservation from the depths of Turkey's Seymour collection. As archaeologists delved into the terrain, they stumbled upon a striking revelation, the remarkably intact remnants of a human brain. What made this find truly astonishing was not just its existence, but the extraordinary circumstances that led to its preservation over millennia. Long ago, a powerful earthquake shook the land, entombing an inhabitant beneath layers of rubble. Subsequently, a brutal fire swept through the region, washing out everything in its fiery embrace and devouring every particle of oxygen in its path. This fiery hellhole, while consuming much, inadvertently became the savior of the brain, preserving it in a rather unusual manner. The intense heat of the flames boiled the brain, removing its moisture content. While this might seem destructive, it halted the typical decay process. This unusual preservation method, relating to the art of ancient black magic, was further aided by the unique composition of the soil in the vicinity. The soil, relating to a magic potion, boasted a blend of potassium, magnesium, and aluminum, a perfect recipe for the formation of graveyard fat. Number 9. Ancient Roman Shrine Back in 2020, on an ordinary day amidst the peaceful Swiss mountain, a hiker had a remarkable stumble upon. What caught their eye was not just any rock, but an ancient Roman coin nestled amidst the serene landscape. Little did they know, this chance encounter would ignite the flames of curiosity among archaeologists, leading to a fascinating journey of exploration. Between the majestic Anton Horn and wild Struble Mountains, soaring at a breathtaking altitude of around 8,500 feet above sea level, excavations commenced. A trove of historical artifacts emerged from the depths, a hundred coins, each whispering tales of antiquity, twenty-seven shimmering rock crystals as if plucked from the dreams of miners, fifty-nine Roman shoe nails, remnants of ancient footwear, a brooch once adorning the garments of a forgotten soul, and a fragment of a dedicated plaque resembling a delicate leaf. These discoveries painted a vivid picture of the past, suggesting that this remote site nestled amidst the peaks held significance beyond mere chance. It appeared to be a sacred sanctuary, a shelter for weary pilgrims seeking divine favor. Imagine it as an ancient counterpart to the modern-day wishing well, where instead of tossing in a penny, travelers would leave behind a Roman coin or perhaps a glistening rock crystal offering tokens of reverence. Number 8. The Cursed Bangar Fort In between the sands of Rajasthan, India, lies the enigmatic Bangar Fort, a relic of a once-thriving town now covered in mystery and strange tales. 
constructed in the 17th century by Raja Mo Singh, the younger sibling of the Mughal general Man Singh of Amber, this fort holds a haunting reputation, earning its place among the most ghostly sites in India. Legend has it that the origins of Bangar Fort's curse stem from a sage's wrath, condemning the entire town to ultimate devastation. This curse purportedly led to a catastrophic defeat for the ruler of Bangar, with his army decimated and the town's inhabitants mercilessly slaughtered. The fate of the princess, a central figure in these chilling tales, remains veiled in secrecy, with whispers suggesting her eternal wandering within the fort's confines. Such is the beauty of Bangar Fort's weird past that even the Archaeological Survey of India ASI has erected warning signs urging visitors to vacate the premises before sunset. The area is notorious for its inexplicable occurrences, including lost wanderers and unfortunate accidents, prompting restrictions on entry for foreign tourists without special permits. Adding to the mystery of Bangar are its peculiar roofless houses, a local legend attributing their state to the sage's curse. It is believed that any attempt to construct a roof results in its inevitable collapse, further cementing the fort's ominous reputation. Number 7. The Viking Sword In 2017, in the rugged mountains of Norway, a group of hunters stumbled upon a remarkable piece of history that left them utterly bewildered. As they trekked through the unpolluted wilderness, their eyes caught sight of something extraordinary. A Viking Sword lying amidst the rocks, as if waiting to tell its tale. This sword, believed to have been crafted between 850 and 950 AD, during the era when Vikings roamed the seas, captivated the imagination of experts. Its discovery by the hunter named Dinar Rambach added layers of intrigue to its story. Despite the passage of centuries, this ancient weapon remained astonishingly well-preserved. While the blade bore traces of rust, the organic components like leather straps and adornments made of bone and wood had long returned to the earth, leaving behind only faint echoes of their existence. What truly astonished observers was the sword's remarkable condition despite its age. Packed between two rocks, it retained its shape and integrity, defying the ravages of time. The harsh mountain environment, with its low pressure and extreme cold, likely played a crucial role in its preservation, shielding it from rapid decay. Upon hearing of this extraordinary find, researchers, accompanied by a local metal detectorist and archaeologist, journeyed back to the site in hopes of uncovering more treasures hidden within the mountain's embrace. Despite their efforts and careful cleaning, the mountain revealed no further secrets, leaving the sword as the solitary guardian of a bygone era. Number 6. The Pendle Hill The Pendle Witch Trials of 1612 stand as one of the most captivating tales in English history. Set against the backdrop of Pendle Hill in Lancashire, this dark chapter saw 12 individuals, primarily from two families, accused of using witchcraft to murder 10 people. What makes these trials particularly intriguing is not just the sheer number of executions, Ten of the accused met their end at the gallows, but also the reliance on testimony from an unlikely source, a nine-year-old girl named Janet Device, who testified against members of her own family. The events of the Pendle Witch Trials happened in a society rife with religious and political unrest, where the specter of witchcraft loomed large yet was poorly understood. Superstition twisted with the law in a troubled dance, leading to tragic outcomes that continue to resonate through the records of history. What makes this tale so compelling is not just the drama of the trials themselves, but the rich documentation that has survived, offering a glimpse into a time when fear and suspicion ran rampant. Even centuries later, the Pendle Witch trials remain carved in the collective memory, a cautionary tale of the consequences of damage fear, and the misuse of power. Number 5. The Hidden Between the Valleys Nestled amidst the valleys of the remote Yunnan region in southwest China's Guo province lies a hidden gem, a mysterious sight that has captivated the imagination of both locals and tourists alike. This intriguing discovery, best observed from the aerial perspective of a drone, 
unfolds as an unexpected marvel nestled within the rugged mountain terrain. Spread across this secluded valley are hundreds of enigmatic wooden coffins, each bearing silent proof of a tradition hidden in ancient times. These coffins, some weathered by time and others standing loyal against the elements, form a peculiar sight against the backdrop of the rocky landscape. The origins of this peculiar practice date back to ancient times, steeped in the belief that it serves as a channel for the departed souls to ascend to the celestial realms. Within the depths of one cavern alone, more than 500 coffins rest in silent vigil, each perhaps telling a tale of its own. One theory believes that this custom emerged from the ancestral longing of the local inhabitants to return to their homeland, seeking refuge amidst the craggy peaks to escape the ravages of war centuries ago. Instead of entering their loved ones in the earth, they found peace in placing them within the protective embrace of the caves, a temporary sanctuary, until they could be reunited with their ancestral soil. Number 4. The Guyaju Caves Within the scenic Yanking district of Beijing, China lies an enthralling historical gem known as the Guyaju Caves. Discovered in 1984 during a cultural relic survey, these caverns unveil a complex labyrinth of over 350 chambers intricately carved into the rocky slopes of Tianwang Mountain. Spanning across the northern, southern, and eastern slopes, this site boasts approximately 117 caves, resembling a remarkable honeycomb structure etched into the mountainside. What makes the Guiju Caves truly captivating is the meticulous precision evident in their design. Each cave typically comprises three rooms, featuring a comfortable living space and a storage area. Some of these chambers even boast two stories interconnected by exquisitely carved stairs and stone bridges. The rooms vary in shape and size, with the largest extending up to 20 meters long. Interestingly, the average room height stands around 1.6 to 1.7 meters, leading to speculations that the inhabitants might have been of small stature. Remarkably, the Gyaju Caves exhibit an advanced drainage and water storage system, showcasing a high level of sophistication and engineering prowess. These chambers served diverse purposes, ranging from communal gatherings and royal quarters to religious ceremonies and storage facilities. Intriguingly, the site also features rock-cut furnishings such as beds, lampstands, storage compartments, and stone tablets. Number 3. Europe's oldest tree. Nestled within the breathtaking landscapes of Italy's rugged highlands lies a true marvel of nature, Europe's oldest tree, known affectionately as Talus. This ancient Bosnian pine stands as a silent custodian. Having observed the passage of time for over 1,230 years, while Charlemagne was forging his empire and the complicated empire flourished, Talus was but a tender seedling rooted in the earth, and the Vikings were just beginning their legendary voyages across Europe. Through the careful study of radioactive carbon, scientists have confirmed Talus's age by meticulously analyzing its growth rings. Despite enduring harsh conditions at the uppermost reaches of the tree line, this resilient giant has stood firm. Talus is not merely a relic of the past. It serves as a living archive of history. Alongside its fellow ancient trees, it forms a grove of respected elders in the botanical world, contemplating the centuries it has witnessed, from the fall of empires to the dawn of nations, from wars to revolutions, and even amidst the whirlwind of technological advancements in the modern era, Talus remains a steadfast witness to the unfolding drama of human civilization. Beyond its historical significance, Talus offers valuable insights into our planet's environmental history. Number 2. Oldest High-Altitude Human Settlement In the rugged expanse of the Peruvian Andes, amidst the breathtaking beauty of towering peaks and vast valleys, lies a hidden secret of humanity's past. Here, archaeologists uncovered the remnants of a civilization that defied the odds, existing in a realm where few would dare to venture. The ancient settlement perched precariously at an altitude of nearly 14,700 feet, above sea level, stands as a proof of human resilience and adaptability. 
Imagine the sheer determination of our ancestors as they navigated the treacherous terrain, their every breath a battle against the thin, oxygen-deprived air. Within the confines of their rocky shelter, these fearless souls left behind more than just traces of their existence. The walls, adorned with intricate rock art, speak volumes about their culture and beliefs. Among the artifacts discovered are spear points, carefully crafted scrapers, and stone tools flaked on both sides, each telling a story of survival in the face of adversity. But perhaps most intriguing are the remnants of large mammal bones scattered amidst the ruins. These ancient hunters not only adapted to their harsh surroundings, but thrived, successfully hunting and utilizing the resources of their high-altitude environment. Number 1. Ancient Artistry in Lascaux Cave The ancient artwork found in the Lascaux Caves has always held a special fascination. Whether it's the masterpieces created by renowned artists or the works of talented friends, the ability to turn imagination into a tangible masterpiece never fails to astonish. The thought of skilled hands bringing forth such exquisite artistry is truly astonishing. However, stumbling upon the cave artworks hidden within the depths of the Lascaux Cave took my amazement to new heights. It's incredibly captivating to ponder how ancient people utilized their creativity using only their bare hands and rudimentary materials as paint. This, in itself, speaks volumes about human ingenuity. Discovered in 1940 in the Dordogne region of France, the Lascaux cave paintings offer a breathtaking glimpse into prehistoric life. Estimated to be around 20,000 years old, these cave artworks represent large animals that once roamed the area. The cave, part of the Vézère Valley's rich archaeological landscape, was swiftly recognized for its historical significance and protected as a historic monument in 1979. It later joined the UNESCO World Heritage Sites list. The Lascaux Cave is a complex comprising several areas, including the Hall of the Bulls and the Painted Gallery, featuring nearly 2,000 figures of animals, humans, and abstract signs. Which one of these drones chilling discoveries in a valley that no one is supposed to see do you find intriguing? Share your thoughts and comments below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.